I was in Auschwitz with my father and uncle, and there was a selection in the middle of the night, 1944, July the um, 9th, I believe it was. My father and uncle were selected out, and I only had seconds to say goodbye to them through the wire. They were in a quarantine area, and my father gave me a blessing, and he told me that if I managed to survive, uh, I'll have to tell the world what happened here. My name is Max Eisen, and I'm the author of By Chance Alone. It was, to me, it was like the Gordian knot. I didn't know where to pull the first string. And I kept thinking and thinking. I said, well, this could be very simple. I'm just going to see this movie in my head, and I'm going to write it. That's where I started. I sort of laid out some chapters in chronological order from base one to my life in um, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, <clears throat> deportation, Auschwitz, and so on. And I decided that I'm not going to write in a chronological order, but I'll sort of pick and choose. So um, as I was writing, started to write, the nightmares came back. I got up at, I got up at 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30. Couldn't go back to sleep. So I just picked up my pencil and paper and I kept writing. I think it's important for everybody to put down their thoughts, no matter what the subject is. Uh, I don't know, maybe if I'd have started um, 50 years earlier on this track, maybe I could have written a couple other books. Uh, I'd like to encourage young people. You have any thoughts? Put it down. Gather thoughts, write it down, and put it together. Um, it's important to write I know my motto in life was surviving, is that you never ever give up. So uh, I think this is the advice I could give it. I've been a speaker for 32 years. I've spoken to tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, I don't know, I lost track. Students and they keep asking me the same question. Mr. Eisen, did you put this down on paper? When I hear teenagers come to me and they tell me, Mr. Eisen, this book changed my life. Never again in my life will I complain about little things. I became a better student, and so on and so forth. So this is uh, my biggest satisfaction.